Uh, first, you wanna delete the default cube. Then you wanna make a new collection called car. And paste your car in there. If you don't know how to separate the meshes, you can look up a tutorial how to get the wheels separate from the car body. Uh, then you wanna set the origin of the objects. So like the origin of the center of the car body and the origin of the center of the wheels is set right in the center. Uh, and then you wanna make sure the name of the car body and the wheels is set correctly. So front wheels on the right and the front wheel on the left and then you want to make sure the car body is set correctly uh, so all the meshes need to be in this name order so i'll put a copy and paste down in the description you guys can copy and paste uh, then you click the car collection and you should just be able to generate the car rig and if the scaling is messed up you can just scale the car down so you can just undo scale the car down and then try again and see if it fits better And then after that, you can just go to the wheel transforms, and you can just transform the front wheels and the back wheels to where they need to be. Alright, so that's basically it. Now you have a fully functional rigid body car rig. I want to make a plane here, give it rigid body, and then I want to make it a passive object so it doesn't fall down to the ground and the way you animate the car is by clicking the square which acts like a where the car spawns so if you move it you can just make it spawn somewhere else uh, so in there you can find all the driving properties so driving forward and driving backwards and turning and all that and then you can keyframe that to your liking something i would suggest doing is going to the rigid body properties and change the friction on the ground so it's more creepy how creepy so it doesn't look like the car is driving on ice so if you want to add some objects that the car can react to you need to set both collections active on the objects because the car and the wheels are separate so they don't intersect with each other Alright, so I almost forgot this, but if you want to change the suspension, you can go into the properties of that on. You have to click the square first to get the properties to show up. And you can see here that it's a bit too wobbly. And then you have to click the adjust front wheel suspension and adjust back wheel suspension. Then you can adjust that to your liking. Alright, so the settings I ended up using on my setup was 75 on stiffness and 5 on damping. But it might be different for your car if you're animating like a monster truck or something but yeah 